Let's talk about the sense of cumulative exhaustion when you're having multiple narcissistic relationships. A question I get from a lot of survivors is, Dr. Romani, this gets easier, right? It's the question that comes up when they are wondering what happens if they keep meeting more narcissistic folks as their lives go on. The thinking goes that now that I know what this is, now that I know what these relationships are about, what happens, I should be able to see the red flags earlier. And in essence, like so much of life, the next time we encounter something after we learn about it, it should be a little easier because now we know what it is. Yes and no when it comes to narcissism, but a bit more no than yes. If you go through a narcissistic relationship and all of the abuse, yes, you will get better at discerning it and figuring it out and noticing it earlier. You may even be able to do the duck and weave on the gaslighting. And you may even be better able to get out of it earlier. The big challenge of narcissism is that even though the core stuff is similar, because of the differing severities and subtypes of narcissism, you may not always clock it when you see it. If you go from grandiose to vulnerable, it can be easy to miss. If you go from malignant to communal, again, you may, excuse me, if you go from malignant to communal, you may also miss it because the patterns can be quite different. But sadly, instead of people saying, oh, I get it, I see it, and now when it happens, it doesn't get to me and I'm healed and all is good, what you may be more likely to see is that these harms are cumulative. It doesn't get easier or it's not a threshold and that if anything gets on top of that threshold, it won't bother you more. Rather, it is a line that slopes up and up and up. And the more relationships you have like this, or the more folks you encounter, it's like a cumulative weight that just weighs you down a little heavier each time. So if you have been through this several times in a significant relationship, for example, family of origin or a spouse or a colleague, or you divorce, um, a divorce a spouse or meet someone else like this, right? It's a cumulative toll and you feel it far, far worse. Folks who experience this cumulative narcissistic abuse, meaning it happens across multiple relationships, find several things slipping for them. First is a complete and utter loss of trust of anyone. And this can become really inefficient because you may find yourself doing everything on your own, finding it difficult to be vulnerable in relationships and lose trust in yourself as well. It's a tough way to go through life and makes it very difficult to form new relationships. Second is the sense that the world is chronically unsafe. Even if only one in 10 people are someplace on the range of narcissism, it can feel like you are in some sort of terrible universe where in your world it's closer to five to 10 people. And this loops back to that lack of trust, but at a level that people who have cumulative narcissistic relationships can say that they actually feel as though they are paranoid because they just don't feel like they can let their guard down and live in a chronic state of hypervigilance. Then there is a sense of jadedness, cynicism, call it what you will, but a sense that the world is just icky, people are just awful, and that can mean that it sours you on life in general. You can get lost in a people suck mentality and that can thwart opportunities in your life, even just as simple as meeting new people. All of this can also culminate into isolation. You are just less likely to meet new people or even socialize with the ones you know if everyone feels as though they can't be trusted and the world is a scary place and people just suck. And isolation is not good for us, even us introverts. The more we cut away from other people, the worse it is for us. A key tool for healing and, and uh, you know, sort of ongoing healing in narcissistic relationships is social support. 
but the cumulative impact of multiple narcissistic relationships can make it less likely that we feel able to avail ourselves of support. Then there's all the other stuff. We may just stop trying, taking the stance of why bother? It's a sense of futility. Everyone's bad. This will just be one more bad situation. And that can mean that people may hold themselves back in every way, professionally, creatively, from taking any chances. Well, I have said this before, and I will say it again here. I shudder to think of all the human potential we have lost because of what these relationships do to people. Ultimately, though, you, through this cumulative, these narcissistic relationships, you're exhausted. It's like being in a boxing ring where you don't get to rest after each match, I mean, after each round, but after each round, a new fresh narcissistic person comes in ready to start a new fight while you are still exhausted from the prior rounds. And that exhaustion can make all of these shifts in perception much worse. When we are exhausted, bad things look much worse and good things seem very unlikely. Each time it happens, it doesn't get easier. It can just create a sense of a pileup of toxic people that ups the likelihood that we will think that there is more and more, there are more and more people out there like that. It means healing is more difficult when you have experiences of multiple narcissistic relationships, but it's not impossible. All the things that help us heal, mindfulness, support, validation, it all works but it's more of an uphill climb. However, these multiple narcissistic relationships and the impacts are cumulative and it can feel like a multiplier each time it happens. Thanks again.